Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Learn Just Be with Mahesh. I guess everybody would have started with A for Apple, something of that sort, right? I thought, let me apply the same logic to GCP. So let's try to see like uh, how much uh, everybody has understood uh, in GCP. So all the letters, the 26 letters, and let's try to find out a specific uh, a service uh, which matches that word. So that's what we are going to do. So let's get started. A quick shout out, I'm starting my fifth batch uh, starting from uh, 19th of September. If you're really interested, drop me a direct message on this email address and I should be able to provide you much information on that. Now, let's start the most interesting thing and this is going to be a fun guy. So uh, don't take it seriously. It's going to be primarily a fun thing. So just to understand like how much we know about GCP and uh, and towards the end, I'm going to also show the score which I have got in this um, and few things which I have done is basically a uh, Everything is going to be Google Cloud. So G, I'm going to remove Google there. So I'm not going to put that. And Cloud, every product, uh, every most of the service will have Cloud, like Cloud Build, Cloud Storage. So I'm going to remove that Cloud so that uh, otherwise everything would be in C letter only. So we will not have any uh, services in other letters so i'm going to remove those things those are two rules or uh, uh, these things which have applied here so now let's get started a for so it's not a for apple it's a for app engine a for anthos a for auto ml all the auto ml stuffs which you have so that's the first thing so i uh, hope it is interesting so let's go with the next letter b b for my favorite product which is big query big table uh, so really cool products one of the basics things uh, which uh, which everybody should understand and from the exam perspective a very very important component so c for compute engine so this is where everybody uh, who is watching this video would have started their journey in gcp compute engine so that's the most important thing so you start with virtual machine and slowly build up other components and uh, there's a new component uh, which is called as uh, contact ai with covid 19 coming into picture all things needs to be virtual so contact center ai can play a major role there so that's the thing so moving to d and i would say uh, with d right we have lots of products everything will start with data data store data flow data proc data fusion data prep data catalog and data labeling so i would say uh, there's no constraints in the number of products which we can get with a d so d is really populated so it's like something like d for dog d for uh, dumbbell uh, d for so you have lots of stuff so so d is having no issues there so that's really good moving on to e so e is uh, where you can get as under operations previously called as stack driver uh, so you have a specific product called as error reporting so which gives you an aggregated overview of all the errors so that is a product which can be handy there and there's a new feature in ai called as explainable ai awesome feature so i would say everybody to look into that so uh, not everybody would have explored uh, explainable ai but everybody would have seen how error reporting works so that's the stuff moving on to f so f for fire store so that could be an option and suddenly which strike me now uh, is file store can also be an option so these are two uh, services which can come handy so good moving on to g so as i mentioned in the beginnings i'm not going to use g suite uh google cloud platform like that so the product which i was able to get was it was difficult i need to spend some good amount of time to figure out a product so game servers so if you just go into your gcp console and look you will have a, a category called as game server so this could be a, a a service which we can name under g good moving on to h uh, again was a difficult one um, i have to use uh, um, a document which is gcp in four words to get a, a product or a service which falls under h so the one closest one which i was able to get was hsm so hardware security module so this is usually when you are doing this key management service all those things this comes into picture there so uh, you will not be able to directly see this service in your uh, gcp console but there's a service of this sort
Moving on to the next letter, I. I for I am the most important thing, the horizontal. So if uh, if we don't know uh, identity and access management, it becomes very difficult in GCP. So everybody should know that. So that's an important thing. IoT core. We know more than the entire population in the world, the IoT devices are more. Google provides us a, a serverless IoT core there. So that's a good option. And if you want to connect your on-prem with GCP, interconnect would be a good choice. So that's the letter for I. Uh, so those are the services for I. So moving on to the second one. So this has become this the next set uh, is going to be slightly tricky. So J. I don't know ma'am. I don't know sir. So I don't know what is the product which I can use in J. So if you can get something please let me know in the comment section. I'm happy to update the slide. So I don't know. I was not able to capture one. Um, so I spent time. I was not able to get it. Uh, so this is like the childhood days. The teacher asks you I don't know ma'am so that is what I would say now so moving on to K so you have kubernetes engine the most popular open source orchestration uh, service which you get and KMS uh, key management service if you wanted to key uh, keep prior private keys all those things uh, generate a key uh, so there are three types of uh, uh, encryption available in Google so Google manage encryption key uh, then uh, Google customer supplied encryption key and customer managed encryption key in customer managed encryption key we are going to use key management service extensively so l l for load balancer we get l7 and l4 load balancers in gcp m m for memory store so that's a product so which is basically a managed radius instance Moving on to N, uh, natural language API and cloud NAT. So natural language API helps you to identify what's there in that unstructured information. So you give a textual content. It could be a tweet. It could be a, a post. Uh, any textual content, it's going to generate a sentiment. It's going to give you the entities. Entities like name of the person, people, organization, uh, lots of entities there. It can give you those things very very easily and cloud NAT so network address translation so if you don't want to have an external IP address but you still want a virtual machine to get updates connect to third-party service cloud NAT can play a major role moving on to the next one O O for I don't know ma'am so I don't know sir so so let me know if you can find something uh, interesting I was not able to find it moving on to P so in uh, operations or previously called a stack driver so there's a new product or a service uh, or a, a sub product added called as profiler this could be really helpful for developers to know where there is memory leaks happening in their application so this is really handy tool so if you are a developer this is something which is which you can use extensively moving on to the next one q i would say q is always a confusing uh, letter even in my childhood days, it was very difficult to pronounce Q, uh, Q for Queen. Uh, it was the only thing which I can remember even today. But other things are little bit difficult. I guess in the vocabulary also, the word Q is going to have little words only and the entire English, if I'm not wrong. Uh, uh, I was not able to find a product uh, with, with the letter Q in GCP. So I don't know, ma'am. So that's the answer. Moving on to the next one. R. so you can get cloud router basically I have removed the cloud there so router and recommendation so under artificial intelligence you get an option called as recommendation so where you don't need to write much of a code so it's more of uh, getting the data added and you should be able to get uh, recommendations built in so that could be a cool product which I would say under artificial intelligence category so moving on to the last bit uh, so let's see S. S again is something is going to have a good amount of products which we can have storage the most favorite product for me uh, so everybody learns uh, staging the data this is where you are going to skip it in your storage uh, buckets spanner the most uh, like one of the expensive products I would say but at the same time you get a very coolest feature horizontally scalable database so a very cool product uh, for use for machine critical applications machine critical applications so that's one thing SQL so where you get MySQL Postgres uh, Microsoft SQL Server as a managed service cloud source repository so this would be a private get for 
committing your codes, keeping your source code and uh, security command center. So I sorry, I missed out the center there. So security command center. So good amount of options which I can give. So same is the case in a normal English also. So you can give n number of options for S. So so the same thing applies here. Moving on to the option, uh, the T letter, traffic director. So so you would see uh, something very close to Istio. So I would say in very simple terms, it's Istio's open source service mesh. And if you want a managed service mesh, much more than that, traffic director can provide you that option. So the next U. Again, I don't know, ma'am. I don't know, sir. So W. Uh, again, it was very difficult to figure out a word for this, uh, a service for this. So, but luckily, I found out there is a new service called as Workflow. So, if you just go to your console, search for Workflow, you should be able to see it. Uh, let me know if you are not able to see it. I can put a screenshot. Or I can give you the link there so you can look into it. So, but there is a service called as Workflow. So, the next one, X. Even in my childhood days, it was very difficult to get a word. The only word which I was able to remember was Christmas. And it was also confusing there. Christmas, it starts with C, but they used to say Xmas. So the same thing applies here also. Shared VPC. So if you just look into Shared VPC, they mention it. It is also called as XPN. So if I make it correct, uh, my understanding is it's extended private network. This is my understanding. So XPN, even in the APIs, like when you give any IAM role, it would be usually XPM dot. That's how it will be usually addressed. So um, X for like how we have Christmas or Xmas, whatever you want to call. So we have XPN, so extended private network. Why? Again, I don't know, ma'am. So I was not able to figure it out. And the last one is Z or Z, whatever you wanted to call zones. So so Z, uh, zones are basically the physical data centers which you have. So as of today, so if you see uh, every region, there are 24 regions. So 24 into 3, 72 zones plus 1. Uh, which is an exceptional uh, region which is us central so you are going to have 73 zones so these are physical data centers so if you know the address you can go and visit it but i would say not everybody will be privileged to enter the data centers there so so data centers are called as zones in gcp so now what's my the most interesting thing so as a student what's my score my abcd in uh, gcp my score is 21 out of 26 26 letters so i was able to capture only 21 letters a, a service so five letters i was not able to figure it out so please let me know in the comment section uh, if you have an option so so that everybody's score can be 26 so hope the video was interesting uh, slightly on the fun side so instead of being always getting into a serious topic i thought of doing something little fun but still learning something in gcp so that's the video which i wanted to share today thank you for watching